subscribers. I don't know if there is many of you, but today, for the sake of my friend Olga sitting next to me, we will speak in English for this video. So this is Olga, my friend from Canada. Um, she's from Toronto. When did you start to knit? When you visited me last summer. Okay, so a year ago. Uh, today she's wearing her beautiful crochet top. Is it like sort of granny square? What is granny square? Uh, I will put subtitles for everyone else watching the video. Um, so today we are going into Paris and we're doing a Paris yarn store crawl, which is the same as a bar. Have you ever done one? A bar crawl. Really? Okay. So <laughs> tell us like how it goes. Yes, so just you go. Do all the bars on one street. No, you or... go. You you choose which bars. It could be one street. It depends what city you're in. It depends what you're doing. Um, so it could be one street. It could be hopping from area to area. But you just kind of like choose a bunch of bars, or you just mm -hmm. kind of walk past, and it's something it's just, yeah. Okay, so this is what we are doing, but for yarn stores. So this is really exciting. A lot of shopping is going to be done today. Hopefully, like a lot of looking and not a lot of buying, but we we know how these things usually go. <laughs> um, are you looking to buy anything specific? No, but I'm sure I'll find it. You you told me about the the project bag. Project bag, stitch markers. Stitch markers. God only knows what else I'll remember at row so counter. Like accessories, knitting accessories. Primarily, because okay. luggage. Lovely, yeah. Um, and then I'm looking to buy sock yarn. Maybe. I've brought a list on my phone, I'll show you later. Lovely. I'm driving at the moment. Um, so we posted yesterday because I did a whole itinerary, which I'll show on the anyone that wants to do the same um, and we posted it on Instagram and people um, they suggested another yarn store which I didn't uh, think about it's called Les Tricoteurs Volants so like the flying knitters and uh, that's actually the first stop we're uh, going to because like it just made sense like <laughs> location wise okay so we're going to the flying knitters uh, never been there never really heard of it but i've had a friend from my knitting gang uh, okay. saying like you know running <laughs> around with your needles <laughs> wreaking <laughs> havoc on the city <laughs> no, no. the knitting gang is like the like the local knitting club like a reading for like a book reason. club but with yeah, needles. but for some reason it's called the Knitting Gang of the 95s because we're like from the 95 district. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, so one of these people which I really trust because like, she sounds knows like the a Hunger lot. Games. <laughs> I just say like area, like <laughs> like the like the like the four one six or the six. Is yeah, Toronto. like for example, like if you live in Sussex, okay. Well, like it's the 95, it's an area of France. Mm -hmm. Okay, nothing sketchy, like we've never done anything bad. It's mostly like mothers and grandmas like going there. Um, so anyway, where was it? Oh yeah, yeah, so it's been recommended by one of um, uh, the knitters from that group and also um, another woman or someone just did something crazy on the road. I'm not I'm not fussed, but Olga, she's not really used to the French way of driving. Um, so I just have to really pay attention to the road. So as not to have any injuries. Uh, we are there with Kiki as well in the back seat. What's Where Kiki are you? up to? Is he? Is he sleeping? there? <laughs> He's there. But he just looks like a big fluff oh, on the camera. He is there. Um, <laughs> Recommended by one of my uh, subscribers, a very nice woman uh, who recommends uh, a lot of things to me, and she usually has really good advice. So we're looking forward to seeing what's there, and um, we'll take back the, we'll pick up the video when we get there. Okay, 
Okay, so we have arrived at Les Tricoteurs Volants, the fine knitters. Oh my god, look at those sock lockers. This kind of looks like a store in in like Harry Potter. <laughs> Don't you think? It does. So cute. Okay, let's go in. This is a tiny reproduction of the store. Oh, it's so cute. So we got a lot of things already. <laughs> Let's hit the next stop. <laughs> not solely a knitting shop like they do clearly sewing and I think jewelry making as well is that a towel? is it not? I don't know what does it say? just that it's fabric <laughs> oh and there's instructions in English like pearls and there's a mirror up there nice oh god I want the green one up there which one there's, there's can you one. go and get it no there's some right here <laughs> no no I want I want the one up there <laughs> that's not the green one actually yes, I please. like these ladders I would do it <laughs> So we've just left La Droguerie. Haven't bought anything. Ooh, ooh. Congratulations. <laughs> um, and now we're on route. We didn't like take the car again. We left it parked. We're on route to Lil Weasel, which okay. is like, because I didn't know that many before doing this whole yarn crawl with you. I like that I'm getting an update at the same time. <laughs> this video is getting an update because I did not know that's what we're doing. So anyway, we're on route to Lil Weasel, which is my favorite yarn store in Paris. You so far, because I might change after I was going to say, you seem to not go to as many yeah. as you would. We are in the passage where Lil Weasel is. Look how pretty it is. Super pretty. Super pretty. <laughs> Super yeah. pretty two-part store. Depending on where you get in from, on the one side is the like more sewing and specialty yarn and on the other side is more like mainstream yarns but it's lovely
Okay, so we um, did quite a lot of shopping in Little Weasel as was expected. I have a really exciting box to show you. No, just one, one book. But then we also went into Shakespeare and Company, which is not a yarn store, but I recommend it if you're visiting France. Is that not the book you're talking about? Did you buy more no, books? I bought a book in Little Weasel. So I guess you have books. Right, right, right. I remember this now. Oh, we'll show you at the end of the video. Um, so yeah, Shakespeare and Company bought a knitting book there. That's the only thing I bought. You bought a book there. I did. A non-knitting related book. Mm, sorry, an, guys. An intellectual book. And now. Yeah. No, no, it was an intellectual book. Don't sell yourself short. And now we're going into the next yarn store, which is in Maya Landroit. Never been there. We'll let you know our thoughts afterwards. Here we are in Maya Landroit, which means uh, making a knit stitch. Because hmm. in France, in France, you there is not like a word for knitting and purling. Mm. It's all knit. But then a, a Maya Landroit is like a knit stitch and a Maya Landroit is a pearl stitch. Let's go! Oh, sorry. This is lovely. Look at that. The multicolored. The pink one. You like that one? I like pink. Yeah, but like... Who likes pink as much as I like pink? Okay, so... We went into Atelier du Fil. Ah uh, no, we are going into Atelier du Fil. We've just been to Une Maille à l'endroit. Um, we didn't buy anything. No. The lady was nice. Very nice. And I guess if you know, if you have a project in mind, a little bit like, like Drogri, the yarns don't really have any brands and you just kind of like pick the color and the type of yarn you want. But it was nice. The lady was very helpful. Didn't have... Uh, buying anything and now we're going into l'atelier du fil when they found out we were doing this yarn store crawl thing they uh, said we were very welcome so looking forward to meeting them okay we have arrived at the store i really have a good feeling about this one So we've just been to Atelier du Fil. Now we're going to, where are you? I'm right here. To the Atelier de la Création. Uh, Atelier du Fil, I think, was very nice. It was. And they had self-striping yarn, like, very nice, very nice thing. They had the sloth needle. They had the sloth needle, like, point minder. Kiki, <laughs> let's go. Okay, so we really like how to use the like It was so hot to die there. Oh my God. And now we're arriving at Mercerie de la Pancrette. Might be our store. last Oh. Oh, maybe. So this is how it ends. I did not realize, but we'll see. It does say yarn. The first word is len, which means yarn. Does it not mean like lacy stuff? No. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> we're really tired but we're gonna do a quick haul for you guys and say our opinions store per store so the first store we went to was les tricoteurs volants the flying knitters 
how did you feel? We liked it. We liked it. We liked it. The guy was really nice. It was a suggestion, and thank you to anyone that suggested it because it was a good one. Mm. Um, he was alone in the store and knitting a shawl with beads, which was really impressive. And what I also liked about the store is there was like postcards, like it was a bit of like a touristy sort of vibe. No, it wasn't. No, I mean like <laughs> it was like something to see. Some of the stores were nice because they had interesting things inside, but this store was like a cute store. Yeah. Just for the vibes of the store. I felt very Parisian. Mm-hmm. And they gave us a free tote bag. So what we got from this store? I got some sock blockers because I'm knitting every single pair of socks from the 52 weeks of socks volume one uh, this year. So I always need to have more sock blockers. How many do you have? I have uh, three pairs at the moment. Now three? Now I have four oh. with these ones. Okay. And those are like bigger ones, which I feel like will be great. And I like the ones that don't have the hook on top, only a hole, because when you make like huge pairs of socks really long, then if you have a hook, it, they kind of fold when you're blocking them. Whereas if you just spread them through and then hang them somewhere, you can make them really long and they'll just like stand up kind of. Okay, next. Then we got matching friendship rings that are row counters do a close-up on that um these are from knit pro you can do a close-up i'm okay okay <laughs> these are from knit pro like makeup um and they turn i'm actually wearing mine upside down that's better so yeah you turn it it's awesome look forward to like actually using it i got another t cable for my uh needle set for the socks kind of went hard on that first store but that's <laughs> because like it was the first one then i got this book which is like um all the christmas essentials which i don't have a book like that so i'm excited to make like christmas jumpers Very and happy stuff gingerbread man over there i always buy a christmas jumper oh and also i can see that they have socks christmas socks and look, a dog jumper. And a dog jumper for my dog Kiki. Who is Lovely. asleep on the balcony right now. He is asleep on the balcony. Do you wish you were there? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then show us what you got. As a tourist. That's the one you got from this store. I forgot. <laughs> Spooky season. You uh, need to bring it closer. I can't. You bring it closer. Okay. It's a skull. <laughs> there you go. It's a stitch marker also. It's a stitch marker skull. Mm -hmm. Lovely. You keep going. I'm just going to be here confused. Okay. So then we went to La Droguerie, which had um, many, many things. A lot of yarn, uh, kind of unlabeled, like probably their own brand of yarn and uh, things to make jewelry with, buttons. That was a button Like place. if you had to look for something specific, maybe you should go there. Mm. Otherwise it's not really worth it if you're just visiting Paris. Well, it's got a vibe, it's got a look. Okay, okay. It's, it's, it's got, it's big, it's long, it's wooden paneled. Yeah. It's got the sliding staircases, uh, not That's stairs, cute. sorry, ladders. Yeah, that's cute. It's cute. It's a vine, but it's not got knickknacks. Mm. Unless you consider buttons knickknacks. Yeah. Okay. Next, we went to my personal favorite, um, Lil Weasel. There we go. Uh, which is located in a most beautiful passage, right? It is. Yeah. And it's a two part store. So we filmed some clips there. Um, so, anyway, so what we got was. Um, a few skeins of yarn, of sock yarn. Um, surprise, everyone. Surprise. <laughs> so we got the um, Ponyo and Sosuke, which is from the collaboration between La Bien Aimé, the Yarn Dyer, and the Ghibli movies. And then we also got the Grammar Mare 
colorway which is from the same collection and also it's really beautiful the Fujimoto colorway which is beautiful as well same collection all the same collection then do you want to show what you got yeah now is the time yeah that is the time it's the best thing you could have got this is the best thing i could yeah. have gotten surprise everyone it's another stitch marker oh it's so cute hold on it's the eiffel tower so if you're visiting france and you're a knitter and you want a cheap souvenir you should get this from little weasel i think it's the best it's actually I love great. It. I love it. Great. And then, this is kind of like, oh, I got the volume two of my book. So now I've got 52 weeks of socks volume two, which is the second part of the book, which I'm doing all the patterns from at the moment, which I'm really excited to go through tonight. Because I have only looked at the patterns online so far. And you might be excited too. You need to pick the pairs of socks that, that you like and that I can make for you. Okay. So that was that from Lil Weasel. Still a pleasure, always a pleasure to go. Then we... This is a detour. Yeah, then we went on a detour, but we also want to kind of Honorable show you, mention. Yeah, the tote bag has nothing to do with it. Just FYI. It's a decoy. It's a decoy. <laughs> it's a detour. It's a decoy. Thank you for your, all your inputs. Just like a lot so of you D's. got a book about Paris in Shakespeare and Company, um, which if you like books and cute places, you should visit. It's very like cute. a very touristy near Notre Dame. Do you want to talk about your book? It's, it's a book. It's a book about sonnets and everything she said. Yeah. And then I got a knitting book, so it's kind of related in the video. It's the Lar Lark Bagger book. If you watch uh, the Tiffany Lou videos, um, what is she called on YouTube? Typical Bliss. She always talks about this book, so I'm really happy that I found it. It's got like really cool, like I love this carpet here. Yeah. That's what I like the font and everything. And basically Lark is like an avant-garde sort of knitwear designer and she makes a lot of things with like scrap projects to use up all your yarns which is a fantastic idea and then the cute thing about uh, buying books in Shakespeare and Co is that you get a little souvenir stamp or oh, you get a little souvenir bookmark but the stamp is really cute as well like love having my book stamps then we went okay. to Une Maille à l'endroit, the knit stitch, let's call it that, the knit stitch store. Um, this was the store with the I really know. nice women. Yes. Um, we didn't get anything from there. They didn't have anything really noteworthy. It was a good, they had a good supply. Yeah, they didn't have like hand dyed skeins of yarn or like cute stitch markers. They were nice to dogs. They were nice to dogs, um, but it, I feel like it was, they, they had the most beautiful sparkly yarn. But if you have a project in mind, it would be great to go there. But yeah, and also the great parking around it, like mm. the street was big and that was kind of like if I was in a rush and I needed something, I would probably just go there if I knew what I wanted from there. Okay. I feel like the lady was really nice. She was knitting. I feel like that's always a good sign when you come into our stores and they're knitting. Then we went to L'Atelier du Fil, which uh, they were very nice on Instagram the previous day when we said we were gonna go there. And that was more like a cutesy store. Um, they had, I would say like maybe less loads of different types of yarns in loads of different colors compared to like La Droguerie and Une Maille à l'Endroit. But they had more like cute stitch markers, cute needle like point protectors, um, they had hand dyed yarn, bags, they had bags. bags, they had sewing supplies as well. Mm -hmm. And what we got from there, so I got this uh, cable which goes on your needles, um, on your circular needles. And so you can try on your um, garments when you're making them 
because they go on each tip of a needle and basically make a whole circle out of your project so you don't uh, worry about losing stitches as you're trying it on. So I've always wanted one, I was happy to find a pink one. <laughs> and they, this has the sign of the store which makes me think it's like their own brand that they're selling. And um, same thing, so I got some um, point protectors and as well like the cute sign of the little woman on the store. And um, they're like little foxes, which I think is so cute for fall. And you got some as well. Which is almost as cute as the slots I got. Oh yeah, the, the slots are even cuter. They're so cute. Lovely. And then I also got... Um, Surprise. A sock yarn. It's self-striping. Um, actually, this brand, Le Bruit des Aiguilles, which is a French... Um, independent yarn dye. It's been recommended by one of my subscribers and like I haven't tried the yarn but the colorways are insane and she makes like um, TV show inspired uh, colorways and this one is the I Smell Snow from Gilmore Girls and it's a self-striping yarn which I'm excited to use for a next pair of socks. And then we went to uh, L'Atelier de la Création. Um, what did you think about that one? Uh, that one was cute. Yeah, that one was cute. I feel like they had a great selection of like buttons and beads and stuff at the back. They did. They had quite a lot of things for sewing. I was gonna well. say. And they had a cute selection of yarn. They had a lot of um, make, make, uh, how do you say the amiguru? Uh, oh yeah, the amigurumi uh, yarn, <laughs> like the Rico design yarn. yarn. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know if they had hand dyed yarn, but they had like the commercially sold and quite a big selection. They were quite friendly in that store as well. And to uh, be fair, all the stores were quite friendly. Yeah, to be fair, like no one was rude. Everyone was super friendly. Thank God, because as a French person, you're always a bit worried when you get visited by a tourist. But it's anyway. Because I didn't say a single word <laughs> <laughs> until we already established rapport. And of course, I've had a lot of <laughs> experience in that store because one of my subscribers recognized me and said hi, and she was the most lovely woman, recommended the restaurant. I was really excited to meet her, probably more than she was excited to meet me, to be honest. But it was a lovely experience. Nothing to do with the store, but apparently other people shop there and like it. Um, so what I got was some uh, blockers for when your knit is wet and you want to block it at a certain dimension and i used to have like singular pin but these ones are like sort of comb comb shape let me show you one Do you see what i mean by comb yeah i think i yeah. know what a comb is and they are from the knit pro collection um which you can probably jam, get oh <laughs> don't know what a comb is Oh no no, I just meant like, would you call them a comb as well? Because I just made that up. Yeah. Okay. Um, so they are from the Knit Pro Mindful Collection, which you can probably get much cheaper in the US. But I'm not from there. <laughs> and oh, there, there are many. There are you many. love them, don't you? Because they are green. Oh, they are green. I do like green. I would have wished they were pink, but like, it's There's... a pretty color. It's a really pretty color. It's. Did you show the colors? I'm not gonna tip it because I'll drop everything and then we'll have a situation. That's a different video. Yeah, it's a, it's a fade of greens, blue greens, and it comes in a box. Like it looks pretty handy. I'm looking forward to using them. I actually need them right now. Um, for what? Or is that for a blocking swatches for a surprise. Mm. Then I got two of um, the fade of the Rico Rumi Spin Spin Decay yarn because I bought the book that um, is a lot of Amir Gurumi's for like vegetables and fruits and I really want to make them and put them like somewhere in my kitchen or maybe in my fridge just so my fridge looks less empty sometimes like the vegetable compartment so I can make, I think this one is the color for the strawberry and that one is probably the lemon but uh, it's a or cute banana. book. I don't know if they have a. We'll have to look at the book because I feel like you're going to Stay gonna tuned so for cute. more fruits and vegetables <laughs> I think coming to you the, soon. <laughs> they have the free peas in a pod, which is really Have cute. you seen I made that? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then 
I got the Bible, the Granny Square Bible. So yeah, it's basically a full book of like, on one side you have the granny square and then the other side you have the instruction. I didn't actually look at Well, show them. I'll, I'll look, peek later. Yeah. But I don't really want to show too much because I oh, see copyright. The, book, the book doesn't belong to me. Blur it. Well, we're, it's, that was blurred. <laughs> <laughs> this video is the most chaotic I've ever done. because um, you invited me into a video. So it's more than 110 granny squares you can make with this mm. which sounds really exciting doesn't it does it not everybody cancel your weekend plans <laughs> oh, people are very interested about I, I did you not see what i was wearing earlier <laughs> i canceled weekend plans for this so anyway um i would say if you're visiting paris and you're limited in time let's pick like where we would go first so we will go to little weasel to get like the the eiffel tower stitch marker they also had and i i don't regret not going back to get it or getting it at the time but they had like really cute tape measures that had like a van gogh a mona lisa the uh, the resistance painting whatever yeah. it's called uh, i think it's la liberté libère le peuple freedom I'm, frees the people i'm but really I'm, making I'm canada sure. look super cultured no, but I'm right really now i'm sure okay, so well, that makes i don't me know. feel better but no it had like very like touristy tape measures that are very fun I had, what was the other thing I was debating getting oh the project bag with like the fun had some cute fun yeah. quote project yeah. bags like i'd rather knit than be at work or something like that yeah something yeah. like that and or... those i know for a fact that they are made like they are the store's own brand oh i didn't yeah. know the that. tape measures i'm not too sure that would have been really useful information while we were there oh. if i knew that that I mean, was like it a custom say, it did say at, at the bottom little easel did it yeah mm. We can go back on Friday. You we'll will. see. We'll see. If we don't make it to Disneyland, we'll go morning. to the knitting. I thought you said it's close Mondays. No, I meant. Oh no, sorry. Saturday morning before you leave. Chaos. Um, we'll see. Anyway. Anyway, Little Weasel is the most like probably tourist yeah. place, yeah. but still with good selection. And then I. Would... It's also like right in the heart of Paris, which is nice yeah. if you're in there or it's using. It's near Châtelet area. And if you're like using public transit, I feel like that one's the easiest yeah. to get to. And um, then if you're interested in La Droguerie, it was like a ten minutes walk, not even that. Yeah, we walked from the yeah. from one so to the other. If if you're going to one. If, if you're interested in both, like, it's worth going to both. Then I would say, like, Les Tricoteurs Volants, the Flying Knitters. It was like, I don't know, I just loved that store. And also the man there spoke really good English and, like, he was a good help. He knew a lot of his product, which mm -hmm. was nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, I would say the Flying Knitter, which is near uh, the East Station. Remember we saw that? Yes, that, really pretty. Yeah, so it's near Gare de l'Est. And then should we pick a third one? I would say L'Atelier du Fil. Probably. It was cute. It's the one where I got the self-striping oh. yarn and... I got the socks. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you think that one was cute? That one was cute. A little bit smaller. I, I guess it just, like, it really depends. If you're going in... Like the 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 one, shoot, what was the name? The the one with all the, the big one. The Leo Weasel. No, the big big one. La Droguerie. Yeah, like I feel like that one's the best if you have a certain color or texture or Needle whatever sounds, in mind. Yeah. Because they had the most easily. Okay, okay. So that's if you're going in with a game plan and you only want to hit one store or be the most concise, you go in there, any buttons you need, any color you need, like there's like shelves on shelves on shelves mm. and it's long. So you're going, if you're just looking to look around and find knickknacks, probably Little Weasel. Yeah. Um, but honestly. And like more specialty, like really beautiful yarns. Yeah. Like variegated speckled yarns. Yeah. And then I I feel like the the flying knitter or whatever yeah. that one had a good com it was smaller and more compact, so it's a bit more of an intimate space. 
but you're getting some specialty yarns and specialty products and you're getting things that I didn't yeah. see anywhere else and maybe you did because I'm just no, blind no. and a little lost. No, no. Um, but like all the ones we went to today had like a good selection. Yeah. And it wasn't any bad ones. No, no. I'd say it's a matter of like convenience, honestly, what it comes down to. Yeah. But I think the most like experienced ones are going to be a little weasel. Uh, well, those, those three that we mentioned yeah. are the most like experiencey, whereas all the other ones are like, you want to buy yarn and you just go there. Go where you need. And yeah. like all of them have the things you need. Like they, the only ones that had like the souvenir -y stuff was Little Weasel. Yeah. I didn't find anything anywhere else. Um, but everything else had like practical mm. stuff. True. And also, what was the name of that place in Harry Potter again? I keep forgetting. Diagon Alley. Okay, the Flying Knitter. If you're a fan of Harry Potter, you should just go just in front of the store, even if it's closed. It looks <laughs> just like Diagon Alley. I kid you not. It's so cute. So anyway, do you have any final thoughts? Are you happy to be in Paris? I am. Okay. I am. It was a good. Right. Um, it was a good tie to that. I did a lot of touristy stuff all week, so this is a good <laughs> change of pace. And obviously, next to everything, there's a bunch of cafes, restaurants, mm. um, all that stuff. So we did it very driving around and like from one thing to the other. And you know, like we stopped for lunch at Shakespeare Company, but um, you can definitely like piece it out with like yeah. a like nice glass of wine or like a good little sandwich or like a lemonade like here and there and yeah make if you want to hit less spots or if you start earlier than us you can yeah. probably do that. or if like you get tired or you're using public transit yeah. like all of them are accessible and have all that stuff so it's a good like alternate way to see the city what i think we're missing in paris is like a knitting cafe like a place where you can buy yarn and food and drinks. Yeah, like all the other cities have. What are yeah, you guys doing? I don't know. There was one in Thailand, which was amazing. Okay, but they have like everything. There's one in the south of France, which I really like. It's weird that... And a small to, to all of you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. And see you in... And maybe find your new favorite next spot when you're in Paris. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Good day. Bye. I, I, I was watching the I Okay, <laughs> So Safety first, people. Safety first, of course. Mm -hmm. That's right, please. She just ran over some lady doing yoga and then she's looking at me like... She didn't get run over, yeah. for the record. She did not get run she's over. She's walking away, didn't yeah. even ding her, didn't even get close. <laughs> I'm tempted to ask you to film her, but that's a bit rude. That's a violation. <laughs> that's a violation. Sorry, we've got a lawyer right there, so... Can't do anything illegal, but if I do, she'll be there to bail me out. Um, what did we feel? Thank you for this beautiful demonstration. <laughs> what did we feel about that death, store? <laughs> Is that We're how you get... say flying? No, I don't know. We're well, going to get cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get you cancelled. Show us up for one episode. No one cares. I wish I knew sign language and like there will be subtitles for anyone in case you are deaf. <laughs> but like, okay, so. Um, it's absolutely lovely. It's been recommended you to me. Oh no, I just mean like the their work. I don't oh. know okay. what who. I think I probably it's a woman. I don't know. You said he's lovely. <laughs> no, though. I just it it's is is absolutely lovely oh. in general, oh. non gender. But I think it's I'm pretty sure it's a woman dying the yarn. Uh recommended That's by not one fair of my to assume. You no, know no, what they say I about feel like, No no I've I've seen it on the website. That it's like a move on. <laughs> <laughs> Cut You're this. getting me cancelled again. This. <laughs> so yes, yeah, um, le bruit des aiguilles. Yeah, I should probably not say I got the Bible. Yeah, a I got the Granny Square <laughs> Bible. <laughs> um, I almost said something that would get me cancelled again. <laughs> Much more important. No, no, um, no! Don't go there. You said almost. We all filled in the blanks. Move on. Cut that. Okay, so if okay. anybody has any capital they want to invest in any business savvy, please reach out directly through <laughs> direct messaging. Um, <laughs> so we can get started on that business yeah. idea. 
The um, Unlit Cafe in Paris, hit me up if you've got some money to invest. It will pop off. Yeah. Um, also, ideally, though not necessary, a, at least some background in accounting so you can balance the books yeah. for us when we get going. Because we know about the yarn and the service we, and the coffee, but we know nothing about accounting. Do we know? We know you know about, about the, the yarn. yarn. And you know about the coffee. Do you want it? We are so waitress. We know everything about food. It will be fine. Just hit us up if you've got some we'll money it, to invest. We'll make it work. <laughs> we'll make it worth your while. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, oh, that sounds really suggestive. thank you so much to Olga for joining me on this video. Bye. <laughs> oh no. <laughs>